First thing that galactic plane causes a lot of physical changes in our environment, um, as far as our solar system goes and the bodies in our solar system and our galaxy. Now, during the shift, what will happen is the magnetic fields will start to, to weaken um, and alter. So that's why you see on Earth, or Terra, a lot of the times, birds falling out of the sky, um, dolphins beaching themselves and whales beaching themselves because they use, you know, magnetic fields to guide themselves. Um, so they're getting lost and there's a bunch of different things that are happening. Now, these same types of relationships um, exist with planets and, you know, different heavenly bodies, um, which is why you hear of a planet called Nibiru um, and why it doesn't come into our solar system, you know, on a regular basis, but only generally every, you know, 13,000 to 26,000 years, you know, during these shifts. Uh, what happens is, again, the magnetic fields weaken, uh, which has a direct relationship on gravity, um, which has a direct relationship on orbits. So, you know, during very long periods of time, you know, you know, different bodies, planets, asteroids, comets, things of that nature have specific orbits that they're on, um, you know, unless they're set on a collision course with other, you know, other objects. But typically they have a specific orbit. Now, when these magnetic fields alter and weaken, um, a lot of times these orbits can become, you know, a little bit longer, can be altered, can be distorted, and where, you know, the, the force of gravity from a star, from nearby planets or nearby heavenly bodies would have altered, you know, the path. What's happened now is the weakness in the gravity and the magnetic fields have caused an altered um, orbit for these heavenly bodies. So you see intruder planets in different, you know, comets and things working their way into different solar systems where that's not their normal path. And these are all natural, natural chain reactions from ships. Um, the spiritual side to this, which we'll get into in other videos, is very significant, but you really have to understand the physical nature of, of the reaction. It's like pushing over dominoes. Okay, if you line up 100 dominoes and click them all over, a natural procession is going to start from, you know, your first tip from your finger to that first energy exchange to that domino, the rest will take care of itself. And that's kind of what's what's going on now. Now, as far as the consciousness goes, we have developed ourselves on this planet to a place where we can we can see beyond the natural plane. We can see beyond the sky. The sky is not the limit here. Um and most of us have been able to reach back to our to our ancient roots and Im implement those teachings into what we have and found ourselves and our higher selves in our in our lineage, um, whether it be Syrian, um, whether you you know you've really only traced back to your Atlantean roots or Lemurian roots or or wherever you know you are in your consciousness right now, but. Um, you just have to have a really good understanding of what's going on around you physically and how that translates into your spiritual well-being. Because it's all, at the end of the day, um, it's all heading towards the same place. All right. If you have any more questions about this, Bonnie, hit me up. I'm going to be live and direct. We have a lot of big things coming up over the next couple of weeks. So let's keep this thing rolling. All right. Peace.